His name is Fred. Big ears, soft coat, wagging tongue and all. FRED actually stands for Flexible and Rigid Endoscopic Training Device. It's FRED's insides that are the important thing for Dr. Jacqueline Whittemore. He's very realistic on the inside and one of the big aha moments or challenges for us is we were looking at him on his back and we were looking down into him and we made him look like we thought he should anatomically. We put things where they should be. Dr. Whittemore and a student at the UT College of Veterinary Medicine invented Fred, made for just a few dollars. The stuffed canine came from Goodwill, and the organs are made from toys and other gadgets. But the information generated here is invaluable. Dr. Whittemore runs this device called an endoscope, tubing with a tiny camera on the end, through Fred's esophagus and down into his stomach. Learning to operate an endoscope correctly is critical to a veterinarian's training in minimally invasive procedures. In the past, many veterinarians received endoscopic training on live animals. But unfortunately, some of those animals would have to be put down afterwards because of the damage to their bodies. Obviously with Fred, there's no live animals involved. What we know, or what I know, is that Fred is as challenging as a live animal, and he is accurate. Like looking at the answers at the end of your math book, you can unzip Fred to see where you are in his system. Fred also has the advantage that he won't fidget or bite the scope. In the future, we may even see other versions of Fred. We've talked a little bit with some of the exotics people about doing a bird. Um, we could certainly do a cat because a cat or a tiny dog is very different from a Fred-sized dog, um, you could do a human Fred. Dr. Whittemore says she became a vet to save animals, not see them suffer. Fred seems to be a nice balance of learning, technology, and kind humanity. And that's real enough. This is Chuck Denny reporting.